Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching Pie and Chips Football. <laughs> no test. And l listen, I, I stole this word from my friend Mo. <laughs> He's in UK. So he always said that Burnley play pie and chips football. And I asked him what that even means. And he was like, no, no test. Okay, so I, I'm like, okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right, so Sean Deitch against the master himself, Thomas Tuchel. What a game it's going to be. Somebody is going to try to play football. Another one is going to try to refuse to play football and counter, put the ball in the box, let's fight, and let's see what's going to happen. We all know what Burnley are going to do. <laughs> Very physical, strong, tall, and it's going to be a fight in the box, especially if they got some um, set pieces. We have to check on that. We have to be very, very careful on set pieces because we know what they can do to us, right? The last time we played at the bridge, they got uh, one point the last minute. <laughs> Charity FC, Chelsea FC. The last minute. That's why I don't like the 1-0 score. <laughs> Just go a couple goals or three goals and then see the game out. When it's 1-0, any anything can still happen the last minute. So, we don't learn. We are Chelsea Football Club. This season, we are doing the same things over and over and expecting a different outcome. Anyways, people. Uh, Pulisic Backyard. <laughs> Remember when he scored his perfect hat trick? Yeah. Back in the day, under Frank Lampard, Pulisic, left foot, right foot, header, perfect hat trick. Are we gonna see Pulisic reproducing the same, uh, the same game? I don't know. It doesn't happen often, because the next time after that hat trick, of course, we went back there, um, and Pulisic was injured during the warm up. <laughs> only at Chelsea Football Club he was warming up I was getting gassed and happy I was pumping people telling people how Pulisic was going to score another hard trick and then all of a sudden boom he's out out of the team injured in the warm up he wasn't really injured he felt something like he had a, a tight cuff and he decided not to play because it could make it uh, more difficult. Or it's gonna, it could injure him even worse. So, this is a must-win game, my friend. We can't afford dropping point anymore. Arsenal are pushing. Man United are going to push. Top four is not a guarantee. And also, winning the Champions League looks like it's going to be a long way now that uh, we have so many issues injuries viruses the owner quitting the players thinking about their next clubs man it's it's shambolic at chelsea football club now so we have to do everything in our power to win that game and i am tired of excuses yeah we heard everything okay the owner the selling of the club it's okay okay the the, the weather is too cold or too hot we, we got it. Injuries. Yes, we got it, but we still have good players on the bench to, f to do something about it. Okay? So I'm kind of sick and tired of excuses. Let's go and get the job done. Lineups. Lineups. Okay, guys. So I will go and go with Edouard Mendy, Rudiger, Thiago Silva. And Shaloba, who is coming back from that injury in the in the private part, by the way. And uh, Eita didn't even get a yellow card for that. That guy literally got destroyed 
is i don't know i don't want to say it here because the video will be blocked but you know what i mean it's in the past now we have to move on alonzo yeah people are gonna tell me oh no we don't like alonzo who are you gonna play there my friend nobody is there for alonzo and uh, i will go with Rhys james who is coming slowly and surely i think we should just start him okay as Pliqueta is injured, we don't have any choice. And then we have um, Kova and Jorginho. I'm not too sure about Jorginho because if we can, if we're gonna play two slow, two slow players like this, we're gonna, we're gonna, we, we might have to pay the price in counter. The reason why I put Jorginho here is that. Burnley are not going to attack us. They're gonna they're gonna give us the ball. Okay, so this is kind of a perfect game for Jorginho to play because he doesn't have to do a lot of defensive work, a lot of pressure. But once they top the ball, okay, and they want to counter, they are very very quick players over there. We might be in trouble. So this one, I'm not too sure if I have to play Ngolo Kante with Kovacic or. Ngolo Kante and Jorginho or you know you just tell me who, who is going to be in your pivot this is a question for all of us but for now I will leave Kova and Jorginho Kante let me be honest he's been struggling a little bit lately and uh, let's give him probably some rest and put him in the second half how about that front three Christian Pulisic, of course, because he knows how to score against Burley. And then we're going to have Mr. Kai Harvard himself leading the line. And I saw Hakim Ziyech back in training. So hopefully he's 100% fit so we can play him here. We need a little bit of magic people. Okay? Because they're going to sit back. Burnley are going to sit back. We need people who can dribble or who can put those unexpected balls in the box we need some quick players like Pulisic who can create magic here Manson Mount we all know that he's having very very hard time at the moment and uh, yeah that is my uh, starting 11 leave in the comment let me know uh, your starting 11 and your score prediction. For me, the score prediction is going to be 2-0 Chelsea Football Club. Christian Pulisic to score. Um, Kai Harvard to score. Yeah, I said 2-0. Eh? Yeah, 2-0 to Chelsea Football Club. Hakim Ziyech with an assist. And another assist is going to come from Thiago Silva. There we go, guys. Let me know what you think and uh, leave a comment subscribe to the channel god bless you and i'll see you next time